Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Heather Monty and I make videos about drones, aviation, and STEM education. And in today's video, what I wanted to do was help answer a few questions that are coming up in the aviation and drone community right now with regards to the air traffic control towers needing to be shut down in order to sort of disinfect the towers and the uh, buildings that they are in due to the coronavirus. And what will happen if you know more and more air traffic control facilities need to shut down. So the question that I'm answering in this video is how to determine what class of airport your airport will turn into should the control tower need to shut down. So there, the airport that you are near, it might already be a class G or class E airport, but if you live near an airport that is a class Charlie or class um, Bravo or class Delta airport, you will want to look up what your airport turns into essentially when the control tower needs to close. And a lot of times some of these control towers already have procedures in place because they close in the evenings when the traffic isn't as high. So what you're going to do is you're going to go right on the FAA's website and you can look at the digital chart supplements page. So all you need to do is just go to Google and type in Google FAA chart supplement or digital chart supplement and it will bring you right to this page. So what you're going to do is scroll down here to the bottom and you're going to want to look at the chart supplements and the specific dates that those chart supplements are effective for. So today is March 22nd and so you can see that there is a new edition coming out on March 26th. So if you're watching this after March 26th, you're going to want to use that edition. So it's broken up by different um, regions in the United States. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the Oshkosh Airport, which is sort of the mecca for aviation. It's where I learned how to fly. So we're going to look at um, the Oshkosh Airport. So that is in the East Central Chart Supplement. So I'm going to go ahead and click here to download it. It is a big file. As you can see, it's 581 pages. It will take some time. I already had it downloaded. So for me, it was a little quicker in this video. So all I'm going to do is I just do a control F to find the airport. And let's see here. There's a couple different OSHs in here because I just used the control F in the browser. So getting close to it. There it is right here. So this is the Oshkosh Whitman Regional Airport in Wisconsin. And this is the chart supplement. Um, it used to be called the airport facilities directory. So you'll see that in the um, in some of them, I noticed that it has it still in the uh, headers to the page. So you'll see that uh, term thrown around in various places, but it used to be called the airport facility directory. It is now the chart supplement. So here is the chart supplement for the Oshkosh um, airport. And so the Oshkosh airport is a class Delta airport. And I know this by looking at right here where it says airspace. So it says airspace class D. And I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here for you. It says airspace class D and it offers services. So it's air traffic control services from 1200 to 0400 Zulu. So if you uh, are in a specific time zone, you need to be able to convert your time zone to Zulu time um, to look at when the services are gonna be provided for your airport. So the airspace around the airport is class Delta between these times and then other times it is class golf. So the airport or the, and the, all the way down to the surface becomes a class G airport um, once the tower has closed. So you can go look at various airports throughout the country. So I'm going to go here and pull up the Southwest one. And if you look up like Santa Ana, for example, Santa Ana Airport right here, John Wayne in Orange County. I'll zoom in here a little bit. Same thing, if I just scroll down to where it says airspace, right here. So this airport is Class Charlie. Um, it has approach control services from uh, 1415 Zulu to 0700 Zulu. And then other times the airport does revert to 
a class golf airport. So if you are looking to fly your drone in or around an airspace that is being affected by some of the air traffic control closures due to the coronavirus, this is a place to start to see what type of airspace the airport becomes if the control tower is closed. This is not the end all be all. You'll also want to be able, you also want to check the NOTAMs. You also want to check the Before You Fly app. You want to make sure that you're getting the most current and up-to-date information before you start flying in that airspace. But this is a good way for you to be able to tell if the airport is closed or the tower is closed, the air traffic control tower is closed, does your airport become class echo or class golf? I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please make sure you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel as I share a lot of different educational videos related to drones, aviation, and STEM education. I'll see you guys in the next video.